Good evening. Uh, I would like uh, first to thank uh, Mr. Chairman and uh, the audience, and uh, of course, uh, Dr. Cooper and uh, Dr. Lloyd to give me the opportunity to uh, share with you uh, our uh, experience about the, uh, the, uh, what to do with the aortic root in acute type A. And um, I have no uh, disclosure except these dramatic uh, <laughs> things. So uh, next, next year, guys. <laughs> And uh, uh, I would like to uh, uh, address a very uh, friendly uh, thanks to uh, Jeffrey uh, Tsang and uh, Steve Livesey because from now uh, eight years, we uh, share a very nice uh, academic um, um, program between Rennes and Southampton. And we have now uh, last that... Uh, eight trainees and, and, uh, and fellow to, uh, to work together. So uh, it was difficult to uh, didn't uh, speak about uh, history. Uh, this uh, observation, I know that uh, as, as uh, English people, you know that history, but I think it's very, very interesting. And uh, this first uh, description of uh, entritaire in, uh, in the root of uh, a heart and uh, of a majestuous heart is a, a very interesting thing. And the impact of history is very nice. And uh, Dr. Svensson na know now why they, are, uh, they have uh, in US their independence. And uh, that independence history have been suspended to a tear. Thanks. So uh, uh, my uh, proposal is back to the future, uh, where uh, between um, a rock and a hard place, it's uh, uh, interesting to debating regarding the management of the tubular ascending aorta in uh, type A dissection. However, the management of the arctic root and the arch remains unclear while some authors advocate uh, for a conservative approach, there is growing debate on the extensive repairs of the root and the arch, aiming at reducing further aortic complication and reinterventions. In uh, an uh, aside regarding the arch, we have recently reported in the French elective frozen elephant trunk registry about chronic dissection, that on uh, one third of our court had previous uh, dissa um, type A dissecting repair. It is indeed no secret that a dissected aortic arch will require over time re-intervention and an important group of patients. So what about the aortic roots? Obviously, let us uh, let's forget that the priority in the setting of uh, type A ascending dissection is to get the patient on life, out life. The extent of the art repair comes next, and one has to decide often at night, often alone, between two strategies and their trade-offs. If sparing the route grants a quicker procedure, technically easier, it also puts the patient at risk leaving a pathological root. And those with risk of root events, including aneurysmal disease, recurrence of dissection, and aortic regurgitation. Alternatively, replacing the root excludes proximal pathological aorta, but may come at the price of heavier procedure technically more demanding and possibly riskier, valvular complications at follow-up are moreover not excluded. So at the root of the problem, if I may say, three questions are to be asked. First, about the fate of the spared aortic root after an acute type A dissection repair. Second, Regarding this spare root, whether actually 
reoperation does carry a high surgical risk. And finally, when the root is replaced, if the replacement technique does impact the, impact the outcome. So before answering this question, a first step through the uh, current gui guidelines. The European guidelines address a part of the question stressing that aortic valve can often be preserved at root repair or given the emergency of the situation. The valve could also be replaced. However, if dissection involves at least one sinus, which in our practice is very common, the ESC guidelines recommend to replace the root. Several settings are not specifically addressed, mainly dilated, non-dissected roots, marathon patients, or older patients. The 2010 American guidelines, also with a level of evidence C, precise that a partially dissected root may be repaired, except in the case of extensive dissection that should be treated with root replacement. Moreover, in the setting of dilated aortic root, replacement of the root is also recommended. We can see the current uh, guidelines address partially the issue of the aortic root during type A dissection and thus further and more recent investigation is required. Fate of the preserved aortic roots after uh, transaortic um, type A aortic dissection. In a multicentric retrospective study published in uh, 2016, Yale, München, Beijing, Innsbruck, and Kassan, including 338 uh, type A repairs, and only 26% of the roots were replaced. Both strategies had equivalent operative mortality <coughs> and survival rates at 10 years. <coughs> Upon follow-up, the authors also demonstrate the slow growth of the aortic root after type 8 repair. For instance, a 40 millimeters root at <coughs> index surgery only grows by 0.42 millimeters a year. So, for to reach 15 or 55 millimeters aortic dilation, it will take at least a decade. This is the first important message regarding older patients. This uh, Italian 23-years uh, follow-up paper with 319 type A dissection with exclusive supracoronary repair also demonstrate that less then 10% of preserved roots will require further intervention and 10 years, and less than 20% at th uh, 23 years. From the uh, IRED registry, this paper from uh, uh, 2014 uh, reports almost 2,000 type A dissection with 35% of root replacement and 65 of root sparing procedure. In both strategies, operative mortality, three years survival and freedom from root reintervention were similar. Root replacement was not found to be associated with high mortality, while age over 70 years old was associated with an higher operative mortality. Regarding the risk, the risk factor that might impact the risk of reoperation of aortic roots, this study from the Freiburg team suggests a higher risk of reoperation, 10% at four years. 
identifying the dissection of all aortic sinuses as a predictive factors of reoperation. In this uh, Japanese paper, for his over 300 type A dissection, 87% of patients were treated with supraconary graft. On one hand, they report a higher mortality associated with root replacement versus supraconary repair. And they also identify the dissection of two or three sinuses as risk factors for late aortic events. In these last two studies, neither age or gender were found to be associated with a higher risk of aortic root reintervention. This multicentric Freiburg and Philadelphia study from uh, 2014 is very compelling. A 74 marfan patient with uh, type A dissection was evaluated. And first striking things is the median age of 37 years old. In the setting of marfan patient, they report a 70% root replacement with an excellent in-hospital mortality reported. Among the supraconary group, 40% of patients will require a root replacement at eight years. Overall, more than half of the study cohort required aortic reintervention at eight years. And this is compelling and strongly favors more aggressive strategies in marathon patients. Importantly, survival at eight years was similar in the two groups, aortic reintervention and no aortic reintervention, and phasing the, that in trained teams, reintervention do not carry a higher risk, and we know that these reinterventions can be extremely complex and challenging. Finally, in this uh, 2018 paper from Stanford carries overall the same message. With near 300 type A dissection, 72% of supraconary repairs, operative mortality and survival at 10 years are similar at cost of a higher risk of reoperation in preserved aortic roots. 11.8% of reoperation at 10 years. Does aortic proximal reoperation carry high surgical risk? So now that things are getting clearer about the fate of preserved roots, what are the outcomes in those 10 persons? This study from the Duke Medical University reports 219 reoperation after prior type A dissection repair, including 47 of proximal reinterventions. The vast majority of procedures were performed electively with a 7% in hospital mortality. This results emphasize that with a close follow-up, most of the reintervention can be performed electively and those performed by senior aortic surgeon are transferred to aortic center. These authors therefore suggest that the fear of a potential reoperation must not dictate the strategy at indexed procedure. Similarly, Hazim Safi teams from Houston report 63 reoperation after type A dissection, including 27% of fruit replacement procedure. As we can see, those reintervention also include arch replacement and stage one elephant trunk procedure. Despite the complexity of this reintervention, operative mortality remains at 11%. Moreover, the authors had 
that the root management at index procedure was not in this study associated with proximal reoperation. Does root replacement technique impact the outcomes? With this study from Leipzig, where uh, 374 type A dissection repairs were evaluated, among the, 2008, the 208 56 uh, percent patients who underwent root replacement, they compared the outcomes between Bentol, David, and Yakub procedure. Operative mortality was remarkably low in all groups, 1.2 to 3.15 percent, and follow-up didn't demonstrate any difference in aortic root reintervention at four years. Also, the follow-up may be short. This paper suggests that aortic expertise can achieve outstanding results regardless of the replacement technique. Finally, our small experience. So from uh, 2000 to uh, 2070, we operate on 303 um, type A dissection. We uh, did uh, 188, 62% of supraconary repairs and 115, 38% root replacement. Seven patients required root reintervention on the spare roots. And in that seven patients, two were reoperated on in an acute uh, situation. Like to fight uh, another day. I think it's the philosophy of that surgery. And what we are uh, doing in my uh, department is that uh, kind of algorithm. The root replacement is for dissection of three sinuses or two sinuses if the right sinuses is in the dissection. Comorbidity and initial presentation is very important to, to be, uh, to, before to operate on. Marfan syndrome is in evidence, and patients less than 70 years old have an expectancy of life to uh, under to treat correctly the roots. And criteria in the roots is really uh, um, uh, uh, it's a real problem because it's very difficult to know what is the frailty after surgery of, of the root. So carefully evaluate the need for root replacement. Call a friend. Yes, a friend is, of course, a senior surgeon, but uh, more than that, a surgeon who know what is aortic uh, surgery at uh, 2 uh, p.m. of the night. Close surgical and imaging follow-up, I think it's a very, very important thing for the cardiac surgeon who like heart surgery. The follow-up is uh, uh, too often a, a lake of uh, attention uh, about our patient. So, take home messages. Supracoronary repair in type A dissection is safe and reproducible, of course. In expert hands, root replacement, regardless of the technique, doesn't increase operative mortality in a nice aortic center. But only 10% of preserved aortic roots will require reintervention at 10 years, and it's questionable. Majority of the reoperations after uh, type A aortic dissection repair are elective and can be carried out by senior aortic surgeon with low mortality. I really thank you. <laughs>